Hello, ladies and gentlemen. This is Eddie Marcus again. I want to thank you so very much for giving me this your attention. For I oftentimes have good news to share with you. News about liberty, news about freedom, news about life, news about the realization of dreams that each of you can realize by walking into the knowledge of truth. You know, I think about people who live under various systems of government across the land. We have communism, and those who live under communism have a philosophy of life that allows communism to exist. For those who live under socialism, the same thing occurs. For those who live under dictatorships and oligarchs, those also have philosophies. But the one that we are most familiar with is capitalism and democracy. And we here live in America experiencing these things constantly. And if we look across the globe, we see that there are nations that do good, not extraordinary, but good, good compared to others. And then there are some nations that do so bad in comparison to others. And then you look across and say, well, out of these, which one would I choose? And surely you would want to choose the best one, the best one meaning that which suffers the least. And yet there would be many sufferings. And so that causes me to, hey, for some strange reason, accept a different philosophy. A philosophy that says there's something that's better than that. But they are not the philosophies basically of men that have made uh, systems and set systems up and affect systems in the past. And so we, I might want to say it's God, but it might not even be God. It just might be the spirit that lives inside of me that says we all want all of these things. And since that's what I feel without question, I have to understand how can that be true. And I look at things about all of the existence of everything that is in existence. It is because of another power outside of ourselves. Everything. Everything that we can identify in existence does so outside of a power of ourselves. And it can be terminated outside of a power, even though now it can basically be terminated by our own power. At least we think so. Now, if that power exists that would qualify all of this, then that power seems to me has a way of existence and peace. Since nature exists in peace, since nature does what it is supposed to do, and as far as we know, animals do the, what they're supposed to do. And as far as we know, plant life do what they're supposed to do. And I guess as far as we know, human beings do what they're supposed to do. It's just that if we want peace, if we want prosperity, if we want joy in our lives, the way to have it is to allow one or two ways to happen to rob, to steal, to kill, to do whatever you can to get yours at the expense of anything, which is the reason we have all the pain and suffering around the world. Or another way is to share in all that is with one another, in everything, in the fruits and in the labor and the process and in the joy. That's respecting that the power is somebody else's. Everything belongs to somebody else, not man. It doesn't belong to the United States. It doesn't belong to the man the biggest stick. It doesn't belong to the man the biggest hand. It belongs to the man that made it. It belongs to the power that made it. It belongs to the unseen power. And those of us who can respect that will allow others to participate as much as we want to participate in the giving and the getting. Thank you so very much. Bye-bye.